Oh, hey, Mikey. How's your day going? Not bad. I'm feeling a bit overwhelmed. I'm starting my weight loss journey and I have no clue where to begin. Oh, I've been there, my friend. Let me show you some truths I wish I knew before losing weight. It might help make things a little easier for you. That would be awesome, Louis. I could really use some helpful tips. Great. Just remember, we're in this together and I got your back. So in this video, I'm going to show you guys four tips I wish I knew before losing weight. So you ready? We out. What's going on? It's your boy, Lewis Hoffa Show. You know how we do. So today, we're gonna to be diving into my weight loss journey and things I wish I knew before losing weight. So just picture me, more chubby, clueless, being super overweight, thinking I would have my six pack in like six months. Well, spoiler alert, it took way longer. So let's jump into the four things I wish I knew before losing weight so you don't have to waste your time. So you ready? Let's go. Tip number one, carbs are not the enemy. No, no, get it out of here. Once upon a time, I thought all carbs were evil, like little monsters out to get me. I was convinced that eating just a single slice of pizza would instantly ruin my progress. But guess what? Carbs and I, we're friends now. Yeah, I swear, we call each other every day. And yeah, sure, everyone's carb tolerance varies. But for me, I can still eat 200 grams a day and still lose fat. There was even a time I ate a whole bowl of pasta and still managed to shred some pounds. And that's because carbs provide energy for our bodies and are essential for the brain function. My thing is balance is key. So don't eliminate carbs completely. My recommendation is indulge in healthier carbs like whole grains, fruits, and veggies. Don't let these keto keyboard warriors scare you away from eating carbs. We all need our bread buddies. Tip number two, time flies when you're losing weight. It's been three weeks and I only lost two pounds. How long is this gonna take? When I was first overweight, I thought I could lose 60 pounds in six months and beach ready by summer, but it took me almost nine months to a year. Talk about reality check. The truth is weight loss isn't a race. Ditch those pesky timelines and make it a lifestyle instead. There was one time I set a deadline for a party and I ended up crash dieting only to binge eat afterwards. Yeah, not my proudest moment. Focus on the small sustainable changes rather than the drastic ones. Trust me, when you stop stressing over deadlines, the pounds will just drop as a byproduct of your new healthy habits. Also celebrate small victories along the way and also find healthier alternatives like choosing water over soda and going on a walk instead of just sitting down and watching TV. Patience is key. Just remember slow and steady progress is better than no progress at all. And going off that, tip number three, slow and steady wins the race. Come on. I get it, we all want results like yesterday, but trying to speed up the process can actually set you back. Overdoing it with diet restrictions or extreme workouts can lead to exhaustion, burnout, and even binge eating. Just like that one time I tried to work out twice a day for like a week, and it was so much that I ended up being glued to the couch for another two weeks. So channel your inner tortoise and just take your time. Gradually increase the intensity of your workouts and then just make manageable changes to your diet. Patience is your friend in this weight loss journey. And yes, even if you're part of this instant gratification generation. Last but not least, tip number four, and that is don't sweat the workout details. I don't know what workouts to do. Hey, that guy over there looks pretty strong. I think I'm gonna copy him. I hope he doesn't notice me. Uh, can I help you? I used to stress over every little detail of my workouts, like finding the perfect routine, or buying the latest fitness gadgets. But here's the secret. If you're not trying to be like a bodybuilder, those specifics don't matter as much as you think. Focus on consistency, compound movements, and just getting to the gym. As long as you're working up a good sweat and moving your body, you're doing it right. Just don't try to spend hours trying to plan your workouts only to give up halfway through because it was too complicated. Yeah, it's not fun and you end up quitting and never coming back like most people do. So leave the workout worries at home and just have fun. If you're still a beginner and you don't want to go to the gym just yet, you can start with simple exercises at home like squats, push-up, lunges, I mean, whatever it is. Just remember that consistency is key. You can also mix it up with various activities to keep things interesting. You can try swimming, hiking, or even dancing to make fitness more enjoyable. Did somebody say dancing?
there's honestly no need to overthink it. As long as you're challenging your body and breaking a sweat, you're on the right track. And don't forget to listen to your body. Rest when you need to and prioritize recovery to avoid injuries. So these are four things I wish I knew. And I hope these are some helpful insights into your weight loss journey. Remember my car monster fears, that ridiculous deadline for a beach body, my tortoise speed progress, and overwhelming workout plans? We've all been there. But learning from these experiences will just make us stronger and smarter in our weight loss journey. Online coaching will be available soon. I also have another YouTube channel if you're interested. We talk more about mindset, creating better habits, discipline, and achieving your goals outside of fitness. So if that sounds good to you, head on over to Lewis Hoffa Show. I'll leave a link in the description box below. And oh yeah, don't forget to bring the shreds and I will talk to you soon. Peace.